In this video from the Alan J. Goody Bedside Medicine Series at the Georgetown University School of Medicine, we discuss strategies to find the jugular veins. The operating characteristics suggest it is okay if positive with a positive likelihood ratio of 3.9 to 5.1, but not that helpful if negative. But you need this skill to check for abdominal jugular reflux, a much better exam finding suggesting CHF. There is no single angle to check for jugular venous distension. The correct angle is the one that puts the meniscus of the jugular veins between the angle of the mandible and the clavicle so you could see it clearly. The meniscus in this patient was at the angle of the mandible at 30 degrees, so I had to move the head of the bed upwards. You may notice I am using the external jugular vein, even though classic teaching is the internal jugular. The internal is more difficult to find, and effectively the external jugular gives you the same answer. There are a few things you can do to help a learner identify the external jugular. First is tangential lighting which can work well in certain patients depending on skin tone, habitus, and anatomy. You could also consider using a vein finder. Most hospitals have this on nearly every unit. You can play with the vein finder settings because it has multiple options and sometimes uh, the standard option works, sometimes even the inverted option will work better. Here's another example of looking at the external jugular vein. And then an example of a comparison using the vein finder. This time I'm using the inverted mode on the vein finder. Finally, you could use ultrasound to estimate the jugular venous pressure. We demonstrate this in another video.